Hello back guys. Today I'm Luigi Tron and today we're playing uh Tears of the Kingdom. Last time we left off we had just found the weird modified version of the Temple of Time. And started talking about uh shrines that we need to visit. However, did it actually go through the cutscene? It saved, like, before the cutscene. Never mind. Oh. Hold on. Do I have to... Is it here? Okay, so it still s tells me that that's my objective. Also, I don't, I don't have the paraglider, do I? What was that? If you're wondering why I keep crouching, I have been playing slightly too much Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, and that's... You sprint by pressing that... The button. Unlike here, where you sprint by pressing X. Wait. Thought there was a bow it dropped. I thought it dropped a bow. Ah, right here. Old wooden bow, a wooden bow. From the old days, it's built for hunting, but it's not very powerful. Press ZR. Okay. So this. Wait. Oh, so that. Cool. Cool. I forgot to jump. Okay. I actually have completely lost sight of where I was supposed to be heading. Up there. Okay. Sadly, whistle sprinting just just doesn't work, which makes me really sad. Actually, rush room actually quite useful because you can use them to increase your speed. Stamina still drains ridiculously fast though when sprinting. Ukao Shrine. Smack it. Okay. Hmm. That's intriguing. The Zonai stuff is far more magical than the Sheikah stuff. Because the Sheikah slot. The sh the Sheikah Shrines used to feel like they were uh, all technological. This feels all magical. Like, I see no tech. Ah, Raru. So you've made it here. This is the, a Shrine of Light. Long ago I filled these places with light that purges evil. I believe this light will restore an ability your right arm has lost. Now, extend your hand.
Hold your hand. Grab and move objects. Rotate them and stick them to other objects. This is the Ultra Hand ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. With it, you will be able to build a great number of things. Really, anything you can imagine. Use Ultra Hand and receive the blessing from this shrine. Cool. Press L to activate. Oh wait, rotate, I hold R. And then I can rotate it like this. So it's like Magnesis, but it works on more things, which is always nice. Now it said I can stick things together. That is the wrong button. Oh, so it's a menu. Hmm. Hold R. Some things, um... There. That is still the wrong button. So I can attach it like this. Intriguing. And now this entire thing works as one. There. Okay. Well, that's interesting. That is still the wrong button. Build things with this, right? Yes, I can. So, what do I need? It doesn't have enough range to grab that, does it? Don't think it does. Okay. So, they want me to build one. All I need for one is this plank. Oh great, no. 
Nope. Great. Great job, me. I'm so good at this. Alright. Um. X is sprint, B is jump. And now we're good. Well, that was interesting. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Light of Blessing, a crystal that glows with a light that purges e ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. May the Light of Blessing grant you the strength you seek. Intriguing, as I am still trying to memorize this game's controls. You did well you did very well getting through that shrine. And you've restored an ability. This is wonderful. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. You may want to mark the shrines in distance with pins. You'll never know you then you'll never lose track of where they are. The Purapad offers a very useful scope. It's quite handy. I'm guessing I press it. I'm guessing I access it by pressing the. Yup. Alright. Not surprised. It's literally just a sheet of slate all over again. Um. Where is this next one? Alright. Let's check the map to see which one's closer. The blue one might actually be closer. Also, I really like how there's three of them. That reminds me of, uh, you know, the Triforce and a lot of things. Uh, great. Please be one. Please say one's enough might not be but I just want it to be hold on that was my father calling that does not seem safe at all let's try that again There, that's better. And now I can, um... Well, that's interesting. I can't tell if I like the construct or the construction or not. Though it is pretty cool.
Yororu. I see they are still doing work even now. I'm mean, still at work even now. We originally created the constructs to assist in our endeavors. All of us were fond of them. I never imagined they would continue to carry out their assigned tasks to this day. The fact that their labor no longer serves any purpose, yet they perform it still, it is disquieting to me. I can't carry any more melee weapons. Um. Hmm. I'll take a stone axe and actually Wood arrows wood some more wood more wood I like how it's a one hand axe. That's cool. And I just hit some completely unnecessary things. Hmm. Another axe. Um, I guess I can use that. It has less range than Magnesis, so that's for certain. Oh, yes, I can't carry any more melee weapons. Hold on. Why am I holding an apple to throw? I don't need to throw an apple at someone. Hold on. Because it just don't pull it back all the way. Um. How do I cross this? Uh, definitely not just jumping. That is a bad idea. Oh, wait. Hold on. By doing this, I can then... Quite similar to the one in Breath of the Wild, except for... I can, uh... Nope! I need more. I need more wood. Alright, that should work. saying that. Uh. What? Okay.
I forgot to read everything. This is the duty of a contract to field any questions that those uh, such as yourself may have. You may pose these questions to any contract. We'll answer them as best we can. Are you interested in my cooking? Not really. Our creators cook to restore themselves. They crafted elixirs to better themselves. The fundamental right. Look, I can educate you for that if you want. Oh dear, it's already late. I was too absorbed in cooking to notice. I will rest until the next time, Belle. Do not let that dissuade you if you have any questions. Um. Okay. That did not work. Um. Mm -hmm. And then let's put some of that in there. Cook. And this should be speed increasing. Yep. Hasty mushroom skewer. Speed boost. Two for three minutes. And... I don't know why I'm putting all five in there. I only have three hearts. Fruit and mushroom mix. Okay. Let's head over to the blue shrine. Um, I'm probably gonna live stream this at some point. First off, not only is live streaming this far easier than recording videos, but um, oh, who's this? Um, uh, this is awful. Where's my friend? Huh? You can see me? I'm a Korok, one of the children of the forest. I was traveling with my friend, but we got separated. My friend is sending a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired, though. I can't move. Maybe you should have packed lighter? Just a suggestion. Alright. Oh, it's a stamella mushroom, isn't that? Yep. Okay. Ultra hand. So I'm pretty sure I can just go and smack that to get slap that together. Uh is there any more wood? No? No more? Okay. Well I don't need more. As long as I'm careful. I should probably have made this bigger, shouldn't I have? Um, doesn't matter. I don't need more. <laughs> Never mind, I'm gonna grab one more. Just to be on the safe side. Why'd I... Also, the axes are kind of useful. Um, we... I don't trust this thing at all. <laughs> but it worked. A Zonite charge. I'm waiting here for my friend. My friend is over that way. I wonder what happened. Um, is there nothing I can do to help him? Restless Cricket, and some arrows. Sky Shroom. And instead of building another thing, I'm just gonna pick this up. There's no point in building another one when this one's already perfect. 
Unless I lose it, of course. Uh, run up here. Jump on it. And shove it. Maybe. I don't know. Um, And away we go. Also, you can just hold on to this, apparently. Wait, does that mean I can technically ride that without the wood? I need to try that at some point. But please do expect the videos of this series to be longer. Um, just due to the nature of this game. Oh, wait, I probably want a raft or something. Can I even get a raft? Is, are there the materials to build a raft over here? I don't... I doubt it. That is a heavy weapon. Fight me. Fight me. Okay, he just stood there and took it. Well, thick stick is far better than, um... I don't know, 30 wooden sticks? Oh, it's a stone axe. It's actually great. I can drop this, pick up a stone axe, and try to brainstorm a way over there. Um, I don't have any way to. I don't think I can swim over there. If I can, it's going to be really close, so I don't want to do that. What's this? Two-handed stone axe. Uh, that's actually quite good. I think. Maybe. I wouldn't know. Let's drop this and pick up this and smack this guy. Choo-choo jelly. Nice. Alright. Um, if I could... Hmm. Oh, let's try swimming. Yeah, for some reason, I don't think that's going to work. What's that over there? You know, just, just a hunch that I can't swim across there. If I had a sail I could get across. But let's just make a raft and see what happens. I'm gonna make a five log raft. If that doesn't fall off. Ooh, what's this? A Korok frond. I can attach it to a stick. Hold up. Wait, can I actually attach it to a stick? I need to test that. And fix that. But, uh, first. Drop that. And. Nope, that did not work. Hmm. It said, attach it to a stick and it can be used as a fan. And then I attached it to a stick and I could use it as a fan. 
Are you kidding me? I'm just gonna be annoying with this, I guess. Uh, let's break this. Did I just attach that to, a uh, acorn? I did. It turns out you can basically attach anything to anything. For some reason. And I'm fine with that. That should be good, right? That's a good enough raft. Let's go! Hmm. So I obviously need a sail. But how do I get a sail? <laughs> I don't know. Oh wait, hold up. If I just I can I can make my way across. It's going to be probably the worst way I've, I could have come up with. But it is a way, so... This is a way, so... Yay! <laughs> um... This, this is a way. Uh, Link, go up. No, 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 no. Link, you have to jump, you have to climb onto the wood. Yes, thank you. Alright. And he's over here. Now, I pick this up. Place it over there. Hit cancel. Pick that up. Place it over there. Cancel. Okay. Well, it's not all the time you're at. That really doesn't even move. Okay, this. Right there. Right here. You know what I'm trying to tell that is a solution that you can do. Is it the optimal way? I have no clue. This is literally my first time playing this game. <laughs> Now, the combat music's kind of interesting. I haven't used the bow. Not bad. I completely missed. This, this is why you don't throw things. Because aiming is hard. Alright, up here, the second shrine. After I do this, I'm probably gonna end this video. Oh yes. So you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. What ability does this one give me? Uh, that's a sword. This one seems like it's going to be fun. Attach something to an equipped weapon or shield to enhance it. You can undo the fusion, but it will, just, but it will destroy whatever has been attached. This is the fuse ability. It, it allows you to fuse something nearby to your weapon or shield, thereby enhancing it. Why not pick up that sword just ahead and then fuse it to an object near it? 
Use the fuse and receive the blessing from the shrine. So, what you're telling me is, all I needed to do was come over here, hold this, drop this, and that's the wrong button. Interesting. I doubt this is a rusted claymore, so I can drop this. It is a rusted claymore. What do I mean I doubt that was a rusted claymore? Alright, and... We can fuse it with the boulder. What? Okay. Sure. Just fuse it with a boulder. Yep, that's that's a thing. What's in here? Arrows. Wait, does this mean I get to make arrows? Or is it only weapons and shields? A fruit that generates heat when struck, it can Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. That was a mistake. Uh, that 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 was an accident, and I'm doing it again. What am I doing? Uh, okay. Don't press any buttons. Flame arrows. Okay. That's a thing. That's really cool, actually. If I can get the hang of it. Ever. So that has 8 attack damage. That's plus 2 shield. Wait, hold on. So, it's the only way to... Yep. Plus 1 damage. That plus one damages. That plus two damage. Plus the. Hmm. So you just attach materials to it and. But it gives it fire properties. Making that actually really useful. Hmm. Now, if only it can press the buttons properly. But yeah, Fron, Guster, Rusty Broadsword. Does this mean I can, um, hold on. What else is there around here? I want to try something. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, sure, sure game. You can't use fuse on a damaged blade for some reason. It means I can't fuse anything to the Master Sword yet. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. Which makes the Master Sword still completely useless. Oh, 
Also, this this looks just hilarious. Get hit by a boulder. Construct bow. It's actually kind of um, Captain Construct Horn. Hmm. I can attach it to a weapon to increase attack power. All right, fire fruit. It's a rock hammer. I like how I put it on a rusty broadsword instead of something that could have actually used it. Really cool ability. You have done well to reach this place. We offer you a wait. It, it's the same thing, isn't it? Um, <laughs> it's. It was just going to be the same thing again. So I'm going to skip that every single other time because there's no point, but man this game is cool. Link. I came because there is something I failed to give you. Please take it. What is it, a shirt? That, that's not a shirt. Energy cell, a gift from a Zonai construct designed to work on a boat. It can power Zonai devices. What I have just given you is an energy cell. It is required to make use of tools known as Zonai devices. I cannot demonstrate its utility because there are no Zonai devices right here. However, I, associated, I have associates on the other side of that cave system. They can teach you how to use this. I hope the energy cell I provided is useful to you. Well, we're not going to be doing that today. But, next time we'll go over there, see what in the world an energy cell can do, and then go to 
that shrine up there. Yeah, this game's really fun. Uh, I'm enjoying it a lot. So, thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Next time we'll be taking on the final shrine, I guess. Bye!